talk about um, East Africa and, um, and FIDA Bank or, or GT Bank, I think there is a bigger picture uh, coming across Africa where there's a lot of um, the, the, the old reliance on, on partnering with, with people from outside of Africa. We, we're continuing to see a lot of inter-Africa trade taking place. So when we talk about this, this partnership um, of, of, a, of a, another African bank coming into East Africa, it should be noted that this is, there's, there is going to be no change from, from that perspective. That, that, um, that the old FINA and the new GT Bank East Africa, it's a partnership. It's a partnership where East Africans will still continue to own 30% of the bank, um, but it will allow us to be, to, to, form, uh, to be part of a much larger organization because our clients' needs are changing. Guarantee Trust Bank is a 24-year-old institution. I happen to be like, you know, one of the flies on the wall. I've been here 24 years, which means I've been with this bank since inception. The idea when Guarantee Trust Bank was created was to create an oasis in Africa. I always say to people there are very few great African institutions and that what drives us in Guarantee Trust is to hopefully build a great African institution, not a Nigerian institution. Along the way towards doing this, we've done a couple of things. We listed the bank by introduction in Nigeria in 1997, and we listed the bank in the, on the London Stock Exchange in 2007. So Guarantee Trust Bank is actually a dual listed institution. Um, we've expanded across Africa. When all Anglophone West African countries, when Cote d'Ivoire, we're in the UK, and thankfully now due to this partnership, we're in three countries in East Africa. Guarantee Trust two years ago in terms of profit in Africa was number 15. Today, Guarantee Trust is around number six in terms of absolute profitability. So even though the top three banks in Africa are South Africans, I'm sure they're starting to hear our footprints. We're all about building a great African institution. The market capitalization of this bank is close to $5 billion. So hopefully we know what we're doing. We have managed and caught a bit of attention. And there are case studies written about Guarantee Trust from the Harvard Business School, Cranfield, London Business School. And I always joke, for most people who have been to Harvard, the case studies about all the things that went wrong. Guarantee Trust is one of the exceptions. And we have four case studies on how we are building an oasis in Africa and doing something different. So with all humility, I think up to date, we have done reasonably well. But we believe the best is yet to come in our future, which is why we're in East Africa. We're extremely excited about being in East Africa. We think this is a great continent and <clears throat> great things are going to happen here. And like Hanish said, we're not one of those who believe that you need global or foreign banks to develop Africa. I think Africa, Africa is going to be developed by African institutions. And a lot of times people say to me, well, you have 170 million people in Nigeria, you have an economy. By the way, the last four years, Guarantee Trust has remained the most profitable bank in Nigeria. We are not the largest and we don't want to be the largest. However, we would like to continue to have the highest ROE and the highest profitability. So when people say to you we're not the largest, please don't argue with them. We have no desire to be the largest. We only want to be, remain the most profitable. And so people say, why are you coming to East Africa? Um, why don't you stay in Nigeria? I always think those are people who don't understand Africa. Africa's time has come, and the people who are going to develop Africa are not the global banks. They are the African banks. And so we're not going to fall into that trap of being restricted to a particular part of this great continent of ours, and that we are going to develop Africa. We are going to be part of the greatness of this great continent. And honestly, we are extremely happy with the partnership we have. We bought a bank or we went into a partnership with a bank that has developed a great business. I always, always will thank the people who built FINA Bank. If there hadn't been a great bank to buy, we wouldn't be here today. And that I always say like in marriage, in friendships, in business relationships, 
If two people don't have things to give to each other, the partnerships will never come together or last. And so the beauty of FINA Bank is we have things we know how to do. They have things they've done very well. And that together, I think we have come together to build a formidable institution. The strength of Guarantee Trust Bank, you will start to see, is that we try to do things properly. That's one of the most important things to us. We will always try to create an oasis of sanity wherever we find ourselves while giving the ultimate in terms of customer service. People say, what are we bringing to East Africa? Um, I don't want to go ahead of the, my corporate affairs people, but I think you're going to start to see that in Guarantee Trust, we're going to put ourselves on the line. We're going to say to Guarantee Trust Bank is going to become another name for service and that what we're going to bring to East Africa is service like you've never seen before. We will kill ourselves to make sure that the customer is king, that it is not a cliche, and that you will start to see service on levels which people can only dream about. We will open at weekends if you want us to. We'll bring money to your homes if you want us to. We will serve our corporate customers like they've never been serviced before. And we do understand certain businesses. Today, Kenya is going to become, and East Africa is going to become a large oil producing region. Hopefully, having done it in Nigeria, 20% of our loan book is in the upstream, so we know the oil and gas sector. Um, about 48% of our deposit base is in retail. We do know retail, and we know how you service retail. And, you know, I really think that in about three to five years, people will understand why we have come here and that we're looking forward to doing something very different and becoming a real integral part and fabric of East Africa. Thank you very much for having us. It's always a pleasure and you must always be thankful when people give you the opportunity to come to their country. I'm sure we will learn the right and in a few years you will see why we have come. Thank you very much. Guarantee Trust Bank.